Hello everyone, welcome to Shri Voyage. The newness is coming in. So today I'm gonna to go over with you all the fall winter pieces that are arriving. Let's jump in. So we're gonna start off with the one that is irking me the most. Now makeup is obviously a preference. So I may not like something, but some of you are going to absolutely love this palette. It's just not for me. That's the Gucci Flora palette. I bought the original, $150, opened it up and it was more packaging than actual product. And the quality of the shadows, although good, weren't mind blowing. So when this new palette came out for $2 more with colors that were almost identical, I was like, no, 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 absolutely not. Not enough product, the colors are too similar, packaging is so-so, I just am not gonna get it. But for those of you that are interested, I'll read a bit about it. It's a limited edition palette with 12 satin, metallic, and matte shades ranging from pink to blue to neutral, inspired by the Flora fragrance. Now I get the brands are trying to tie in like their fragrances to their makeup and their clothes to their fragrance and so on and so forth, but I would rather just buy the fragrance than buy this palette. On to Dior Fall 2022, looking over here again at beautyvel.com, and there are two shadows. Now I already have one of them, I just haven't filmed them yet, and that's the one with the green kind of gold color in there. I did get the mascara. Dior has the best mascara. I've been using it for years. It's my go-to. It's like, it's tried and true. Uh, the color though is what got me. It's a brick color. So it'll be beautiful on those of you with brown eyes and hazel eyes. Of course, if you have blue eyes or green eyes, it'll look lovely on you too, especially green eyes because it's going to pull the green out. So basically on a color wheel, a complimentary color to green is red, so it'll look gorgeous on green eyes and hazel eyes. There are three lipsticks. It's called the Dior and Rouge Dior Lipstick. And three colors that I'm seeing here are the Dusty Coral Satin, the Rosewood Rose Matte, and the Red Red Velvet. I did get the Rosewood Rose Matte. It seemed like a perfect fall color, and I wanted to compare it to the colors that Chanel came out with um, and see if it's kind of in the same color family. There is also a limited edition cuticle balm. I already have the original, which I'll share with you guys in the video when I do the Dior Fall 2022 collection. Um, so I'm not gonna get a new one just because the case is different, although it's a beautiful red lacquered uh, look. I'm just sticking with what I have till I finish it. Now this next collection I am thrilled to get my hands on and that's the Chantecaille Fall 2022. I'm over here looking at the website. So it says that it is about the elusive big cats of North America's Yellowstone and South America's Amazon inspired seasonal collection. The packaging's gorgeous. And my favorite thing about Chantecaille besides the formulations is that they give back. They do philanthropic work. So whatever you see on the image on the case of the animal is the charity that they work with. So there are two collections. There's the Black Jaguar collection and the Cougar collection. The Black Jaguar Eye Quartet is so gorgeous. It's gold, navy, a black, and a kind of shimmering white. And then the lip that goes with it is a beautiful plum. Love it. And the formula, I've talked about this extensively on my channel for years. The best hydrating lipsticks are Chantecaille. Now the Cougar Quartet is so sophisticated. It has kind of a gray, a chocolate, a gold, and a beautiful cream color. Now the two lip sheiks that I see in the collection says that there's Passive Flore, which is a rich mauve, and then there's Orchid, which is a deep berry. Now there's a new line from Guerlain, and it's the Pa Rue Gold Skin Foundation. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Apologize for my French speakers out there. It states that it brings gold shine to the skin and that it aims to be like jewelry for the skin, 24 karat gold, which is a symbol for the series and will bring brilliance and life to your complexion. I don't know when this one is in, but I am patiently waiting because I love their foundation formulas. They're up there to me with the Chanel, as well as my Clay de Peau and Dior. The formula looks gorgeous when it's captured in natural light as well as studio light. So I just love, love, love this. Cannot wait till I can get my hands on it. Now this next collection is by YSL and it's inspired by the smoking look. And it looks like it has four new Rouge Pour Couture Slim Velvet shades of lipstick. And then the mono eyeshadows have two sparkling glitter shades, one in ash, and then one that is in carnal 
flash and then there'll be rouge pure color bold in seven new shades now transparency is always key on my channel and i have to say ysl is one of those brands that i go back and forth with i don't reach for their products as often as i used to i just found that they had a lot of scent to them. I didn't really care for the formulation. Um, so I have yet to be pulled back in to the brand. I do like their eyeshadows. Their Couture palette eyeshadows actually look like a wallet. It has a good quantity of product in those shadows and the color stories are always really lovely. So I'm not really sure if I'm going to be getting these pieces, but looking at the colors, they look very chic and very fall. Uh, it just comes down to preference. Next, Tom Ford eyeshadow, two new palettes for fall. And this is in the formula that is the quad cream eyeshadow palette. There is the velour khaki, which has the green, it's kind of a brown, Looks like a gray with some threaded shimmer in there, maybe gold and silver, and then like a yellow gold kind of cream color. And then the next one is Violet Satin. This looks really beautiful, like a smoky plum color. So it has the dark plum, kind of an aubergine, a silver gray, and, and then like a rose silver color. So these look really beautiful. I have to tell you though, that ever since I got my hands on the new Guerlain eyeshadows, it's very hard for me to dive into anything else right now. But the color stories on these look lovely and I do love Tom Ford shadows. In fact, I compare the Guerlain eyeshadows to the Tom Ford. Just a brief description on the product. It says that they're infused with a pigment technology that combines lush emollients and mimics the structure of skin ceramides. They're long wearing eyeshadows. They are crease and flake resistant and they have high impact intensity. And I can get behind that. Everything that is said there is spot on. This next one is from Trend Mood. There is a Stargaze eyeshadow palette. There's 12 shadows. There is a Rising Star cheek palette that has six blushes. A Starstruck Audacious Lipstick Lip Thrust. And then a Light Reflecting Setting Powder Set. These are some of my favorite collections because nobody brings out these kind of crazy fun holiday palettes quite like NARS. There's glitters and shimmers and it's very festive and goodness knows this year we all need a little bit of glimmer shimmer and festivity on our eyes so I do look forward to dipping my brush and my finger into this eyeshadow palette and this really beautiful kind of deep rich um, cheek palette. There's one in there that is going to be so beautiful for my clients with medium to deep skin tones. Now this is probably going to come out towards the end of fall because it's a holiday collection so it won't be out anytime soon but keep your eye out. Next is one of my favorite brands when it comes to body care and that's Byredo. There's three different scents. It says that they're 99.8% natural balms, moisturizing formula, and universally flattering shades, including clear and fresh flushed tints. The green one looks like it's gonna be mint, and then the pink one looks like it's a bergamot, and then the blue one is chamomile. Really interesting kind of um, flavor slash scents to these balms. I love Byredo products, so I look forward to getting this on my lips and uh, seeing how they feel and how they wear. All right, and lastly, we're gonna head back to Chanel because these are going to sell quickly, very popular limited edition, and that's the Chanel Tweed Collection. It says they're gonna be available on the Chanel website in exclusive Chanel boutiques. And there will be four quads. Each quad is going to offer different finishes, matte, satin, metallic, and sparkle. And I look forward to seeing if these can be used wet and dry, and I look forward to seeing how these perform because the top of the shadows look like they might be kind of hard, but at the same time, they kind of look to me like the new Guerlain eyeshadows and their kind of formulation and texture, what I'm seeing here, at least online. So I will let you guys know. I don't know which ones I'm going to get yet. I might get them all, I don't know yet. You guys let me know what you um, wanna see and we'll go from there. <laughs> this is one of my favorite times of year for fashion and makeup because this is when they go big. And it's just such a nice transition to go from these bright summer colors to these deeper, richer fall colors. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to support my channel, it's super easy to do. All you need to do is use the affiliate links below and don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a comment if you so wish. That's my favorite part of doing this channel. And do not forget to hit that like button. You can always head over to my TikTok or my Instagram or sherivoyage.com. And on that note, continue to take care of yourselves, continue to take care of each other. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone.